for everyone for joining us. Um, we're doing it for the kids, so I really appreciate your attendance. Um, thank, thank you for the intro. Uh, my name's been Rye. I've been doing trademarks for since um, 2012. I'm a registered trademark attorney in Australia, and I've helped, as Paula said, over about 800, I've, uh, lodged 800 trademarks personally, both in Australia and overseas. And with my marketing background, I've actually um, believe understanding the branding and also the trademark law really assists the clients, um, not only to protect what they've got now, but also to future-proof um, their brand in the future. So um, let's get started. Uh, this presentation is just uh, general in nature and it's not really um, meant to be used as legal advice. Okay, so what are you gonna learn today from today's presentation? Find out why trademark protection is important. Learn about the different types of trademark protections there are available to be registered. Identify situations where it's critical to address trademark protection with your clients. I'll, I'll run through case studies just so that you can understand um, the various aspects of trademarks. Um, and what are the benefits of owning uh, trademark registration? Imagine these brands not having any trademark protection. Imagine Apple not being able to trademark their brand around the world. They're worth $263 billion. Amazon, $254 billion. Google, $191 billion. Without trademark protection, these companies would not be able to uh, send infringement letters to people and also to protect the, the value of their brands in the marketplace. So what is a trademark? Well, a trademark is a sign, including a word, a logo, a, or a slogan that differentiates your products or services from those of others um, doing the same um, business. It's really important to note that a logo mark is different to a word mark. And many uh, small business owners or even um, sizable businesses don't really understand the difference. But it's really important to understand that um, if you apply for a word, Logo mark, you've also got to consider applying for a word mark. So why do you need a trademark? Well, the trademark gives you the legal rights to use the brand. So without a trademark, you actually do not own the legal rights to your brand name. And even if you've already started and you've been trading for years, it doesn't actually give you any legal rights. It just gives you um, history of your brand, um, and you're probably um, able to claim passing off, but that's in a different section of the, um, the law that you pursue others um, for infringement. So a, a trademark allows the trademark owner to continuously use their brand in the marketplace without the fear of trademark disputes or infringements in the future. It becomes a valuable asset, able to be sold. Um, you can license it. Um, and you can also get royalty from, um, from the trademark. 